Hello, and welcome to Grilling and Chilling with Mojo. It's a little chilly out here, you know, grilling and chilly, or chilling. It's chilling. But um, I am going to attempt to make some uh, lumpia, and uh, it's generally uh, you use pork with it, but um, never made it before. This is gonna be a first. Uh, we'll see if it's a fail or not. If this video goes out, it's not, you know, it's not going to be some of a fail. Um, you can actually use whatever ingredients that you want. Um, I would love to throw some uh, chopped up, diced up, um, you know, seafood, some shrimp, who, you know, who knows, whatever, some, you know, even fish. I don't know. Use whatever you want. But I'm going to use ground pork and some other ingredients. We'll go over the uh, shopping list here in a minute. And um, the reason why is because my wife is not a big seafood person. So, and then also I'm going to make some amazing chicken skewers. So let's go ahead, go over the shopping list and begin, the, uh, begin this grill. Okay, so what we have here is, um, I'm gonna go ahead, these are the four skewers of uh, chicken breast that I'm gonna be uh, cooking up. It's been soaking in our amazing competition bird shake here from Uncle Steve Shake. Amazing, amazing stuff. And uh, if you uh, get some, knock your beak off greatness. That's what this is, yeah. Get some knock your beak off greatness and uh, good stuff so start with that um, and then after those are cooked down for a little bit and they're almost finished um, we're gonna go ahead and add some of this uh, Shada's original gourmet sweet and savory it's like a marinated sauce and cooking sauce um, I didn't want to soak it in there because I didn't really want it to burn up on the grill so I'll wait till it's cooked and then I'll go ahead and put some of that sauce on there and finish it up with that and it's going to be absolutely amazing. Okay, so our ingredients for this lumpia is got some ground pork. Um, I just got some regular ground pork. That's a pound. We got some green onions and that's a half a cup. These are all half cups. Half a cup of onions. I just got a regular uh, white onion. Half a cup of cabbage and a half a cup of carrots. And I ground that up too, also. Or uh, shredded it up, excuse me, not ground it, but shredded. Um, some garlic, minced garlic. I uh, ended up uh, doing about three cloves on here. It asked for two, I'm doing two, uh, about three. We got a teaspoon of salt, a teaspoon of pepper, and a teaspoon of garlic powder. And then we have a teaspoon of soy sauce. And right here is our, uh, our wraps, Olympia wraps. I have a moist towel on it, and I'm not sure how this is gonna work. I've never done it before. They look like they're pretty, uh, you know, pliable. Gotta be really careful pulling them up is what I've heard. They're almost like a doughy con consistency. Well, it is pretty much a dough. And uh, slowly rip it apart. There you go, that's a thin piece. So we'll deal with that here in a little bit. Keep this moist towel on there. Um, what else? And then um, after those are finished up, we're gonna, you know, wrap them up. To fry them up until they're like golden brown. The sauce. This sauce is a sweet chili sauce and that's gonna be uh, the dipping sauce for them. And that's the gist of it. So let's go ahead. We'll go ahead and get this ground uh, pork going and some uh, garlic. Get that all going and then saute up these uh, vegetables and stuff and then we're gonna just mix it all together, let it cool down and then we'll go ahead and wrap them up and uh, we'll go from there. Let's go ahead and put a little bit of oil down. 
And then I'm gonna get this garlic going. And uh, get this garlic. And you just you don't want you just want it going for a little bit, just to release all those uh, you know yumminess coming out of those, that garlic. And then uh, about 30 seconds or so, garlic can actually burn pretty quick, and you know it's not fun. Garlic's not yummy when it's burnt. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, drop this pork down. Now I'm gonna show you one of my little like wonderful tools that I have that I absolutely love. Let's go grab that. It's this guy, super cheap. You can get him on Amazon. And uh, I love it when I use it for ground beef or whatnot, you know, for pork in this case and it dices it up pretty, pretty nice. So let's go ahead and get this all cooked up. You can probably start these vegetables if I wanted to. Get all my garlic off there. I don't want to waste my good garlic. All right, I'm gonna go ahead, as this is cooking, I'm gonna go ahead and start this, uh, these vegetables. No, no I'm not. As this stuff is cooking, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put my skewers down here too. Get those cook, start cooking those up. Those, those I'm not too worried about. Let's put those guys down on there. Those skewers are gonna be super delicious. This pork is just about done. Um, I, I also, uh, there's a little bit of pink in there. I also turned that middle uh, burner off also. This, <laughs> oh my goodness. This is gonna be good. This is gonna be super delicious. As long as these little like wraps work, I mean, I've never attempted this and those are the only wraps they had. So, I don't know if they make them fresh or they all always come frozen, I don't know. But, uh, yeah, we're gonna let this cook up a couple more minutes and we'll be done here. Got a little bit of pink going on in it. All right, so this, this ground pork is done. And what I wanna do is try to keep as much of that oil out of there as possible. 
And we're gonna go ahead and take this, put it over the side. Okay, let's go ahead and get these veggies going. Uh, let's put a little bit of oil down here. Get these onions down. And cabbage. And onions. Oh my goodness, this is gonna be so good. Carrots. And uh, get the seasoning in the soy sauce last. And you want to cook this up until that cabbage is kind of just a little bit wilted. Man, this, well, this is actually smells super delicious. I love the smells of these onions. We're just about there. We're gonna mix this all up, finish it up, and make our wraps. All right, I'm gonna go right there. Let's go ahead and mix all this stuff up. Okay, what I want to do now is the soy sauce. Put all that together. And there we go. That's done. Let's go ahead and put that to the side. We are gonna go ahead and get some of this sauce on there. <clears throat> it's sweet and savory. Yoshida's original gourmet sauce. And uh, this chicken's getting pretty close. Great stuff. cooking inside there. Tell me that don't look delicious. Okay, so I have one taken off here. And they're like literally paper thin. <clears throat> really tedious. I do have a cloth on there that is pretty, uh, pretty damp. And uh, let's go ahead and get these going because I'm not sure how long this is gonna take. We're gonna go on the, about two, two of these spoonfuls. Maybe a little bit more. We're gonna go take the corner, we're gonna take it up. One corner over. Another corner all the way over here. And then we're gonna roll this up. And like I said, these are kinda tedious, or whatever the word is. Oh, okay, so also, on the end down here, before I wrap it completely, almost forgot, I just made a paste of out of some uh, flour and water and just kind of do that so it sticks while we fry it and roll that thing right on up. Let's do one more and then we'll go ahead and uh, I'll do them all up. These are actually fun. I actually, I'm enjoying doing this. It's a little different. Okay, a couple tab tablespoons here. Man, this is 
so good, you guys. I already know. About two and a half. The hard part is taking these apart, and I'm not sure if there's another type out there that's easier, but I don't think there is because I think they all come frozen. I would imagine they don't, but that's something I'm not sure of. And there we go. So we got two. I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of them. So I kinda wanna show you what's going on here. Um, this, it probably won't work now, but these are coming off actually a lot better as I got in, you know, in the center of it. They kinda just come right off. They do rip really super easy but it came off really easy that time. And uh, I think the outside is more dry because when they dry, they're really hard to take apart, take out. Okay, so here we go. Here's our Olympia wraps. What did I get? Two, four, six, eight, nine, about 18, about 20 of them. So that's not too bad. So let's go ahead and get these fried up. And I've got this up a little over 300 degrees and then I'm going to turn that right back down and uh, go ahead and start these. I don't know how this is going to go. I should just do a couple at a time to practice with. Take, I'm going to take this, excuse me for reaching over you guys. All right, I'm not, that oil is not gonna cool down too much. There we go. And these won't take too long to, to fry up, so. There we go, there's one right there. That one's done. You can see that or not. And we're gonna go put them over here on a paper towel so I can drain. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear that kid screaming. Holy smokes, take a look at that. That one kind of got screwed up. We'll go hide him underneath down here. We don't want him showing, you know, his business because he doesn't look too well, really good. So let's go like that. Let's see, there we go. Rearrange this a little bit. Boom. Take a look at that. Tell me this stuff doesn't look super amazing. Wow. Come on, focus. Look at that. Wow. My first lumpia. You know that's going to be delicious. Let's go ahead and plate this and uh, taste it. Take a look at this. All I got to say is holy how about her. I cannot wait to taste this. Those turned out amazing. Got a little skewer back here. And uh, let's go ahead and give this a try. I got dogs all over my feet. Wow. I already know that this is gonna be uh, pretty amazing. So, um, look at that. Let's go ahead and give this a try. I got some of the sweet, spicy sauce. Wow. Oh my gosh. First time. Don't be afraid to make stuff, man. Don't be intimidated. 
because believe it or not, a lot of stuff is pretty easy to make. This was pretty easy. I should have made these a little bit thinner, but um, mm. one more bite. Let's go like this, ready? So little crunch. Mmm. Wow. Now, if I had my choice, I would make those a little spicier. Put some spice in it. Maybe dice up some jalapenos and put it in there. Um, you know, the jalapenos in that sauce would be like just so perfect. Um, some shrimp, whatever. Whatever you, you want to dice up and, and put in there and season it up the way you like to season it. Outstanding. This chicken, I already know, has that Steve shake on there. Wow. So all I can say is wow. I'm starving and I'm eating in front of you. That's not very nice, is it? Well, another dish. I like to make things that I've never made before. It's kind of fun. It's kind of stressful, not really stressful, but just kind of like, you know, not knowing what the heck I'm doing. And fall's here. The wet weather is here. It's gonna rain for the next eight months. Thanks again for watching, guys. If you haven't hit that subscribe button, please do. Always hit that thumbs up. It really helps out a lot of things, you know. Even if it's not my YouTube you're watching, get in the habit of always hitting that thumbs up. It's uh, much appreciated. Um, what else? Buy somebody a cup of coffee today, if you can. Make somebody smile. Always try to put some, a smile on somebody else's face. And I'm shivering right now. I'm a little cold. And uh, thanks again, and again, and again. I appreciate every one of you guys. I appreciate every one of my subscribers. I'm very thankful. I don't take it for granted. I'm very thankful. And I guess I will see you on the next cook.